what the heck are these crazy looking things? These are potatoes that we harvested last fall. They've been in our pantry and they're sprouting like crazy. So we're gonna take these, plant them, and turn them into more potato plants. Every little bump or eye on a potato will turn into a new plant. Put it in the ground six to eight inches deep with the cut side down. Plant each potato about 12 inches apart. Potatoes are a cool weather crop, so you can plant them two to four weeks before your last frost date. They'll do best in an area in your garden with at least six hours of sunlight. Potatoes mature fairly fast between 60 and 80 days, so we always get two rounds of potatoes in our garden. About 10 days later, we already have a ton sprouting up. Potatoes are great vegetables to grow if you're a beginner. They're super fun to harvest and really easy to grow. What the heck are these? You want to know the secret to having a bigger harvest of potatoes? Here's a few things to remember. Potatoes need consistent moisture. Make sure they have the proper nutrients when planting them using lots of worm castings and azomite. The soil needs to be loose and well draining. Once the potatoes get to be about eight inches, you'll want to hill them up or earth them up. Hilling up simply means adding more soil around your potato plants. And the reason you do this is to encourage more potatoes to form and also to keep the sunlight off of the potatoes that are already there. If you don't want sunlight on your potatoes, it causes them to turn green and produce a toxic chemical called solamine. So make sure to keep those potatoes covered. And then in another three or four weeks, do it again. And then you're sure to have a plentiful potato harvest. You want to know the secret to So I am kind of obsessed with this potato growing method that we're using this year. And as long as the harvest is good, I think that this is what we're going to use forever. You start with the laundry basket and then so that the dirt doesn't fall out, you line the bottom with some brown paper or some cardboard from a box. Throw in some compost. Get your potatoes that you have pre-sprouted. If they've just got a couple little nubbin sprouts, stick those in there. If, if they got more like this, this one has four, you can cut them in half and then cut two different halves of the potato. Anyway, get your sprouts kind of nestled in. I'm doing up to five and then just top it off with some compost so it's got a nice rich base. Set it in a sunny spot, water it. Once it's sprouted, you're gonna top it with straw. Just like this, get it all tucked in, just cover up the little sprouts, and then it's gonna grow again, and they're gonna grow through the straw. Just keep topping it off as it grows through, and then when you need more, you can flip another on top of it, or like this one, you can use a really big laundry basket. Just keep going, topping whatever sprouts you've got with straw until you have filled up whatever basket you have. Inevitably, some of the sprouts might make their way through the holes in the side, but we don't want that. We need them to grow up so they have lots of room to make little potatoes along their root stems. So all you do is just poke them back in, you know, gently. And then if you can, use some straw to um, slide some straw in between your sprout and the outside of your container so they don't just pop right back outside. Since this is our first year growing potatoes like this, if you have grown potatoes like this successfully before, would love to know more about your thoughts on it, but uh, so far, I think it's going pretty awesome. So I- Use this one tip to get your best potato harvest yet this season. First, we need to understand how potatoes grow. We start with a seed potato, which has an eye on it, and it's from these eyes that the new stem grows. And then above the surface, tons of foliage develops, but how do we get more potatoes? See, new potatoes only grow off the portion of the stem that's buried beneath the surface. Therefore, the more stem that's buried, the more potatoes will end up harvesting. And there are two ways to get more of the main stem buried. First, at the point of planting, dig down at least eight inches and plant your potato at this depth. This ensures that the stem will pass through eight inches of soil before breaking the ground. And secondly, once it breaks through the ground, hill it up. Simply grab a wheelbarrow of compost and shovel it over top of the plant, completely burying it. Now, with 12 inches of the plant buried, you'll have pounds and pounds of potatoes developing beneath the surface to be harvested this summer. Don't harvest your potatoes until these two things have happened. First, wait for the flowers to emerge. While the potatoes are growing beneath the surface, the plant will also be producing flowers and sometimes they can even turn into potato berries. But the berries are poisonous, so don't eat them. Instead, simply prune them off as this redirects all the energy to developing our potato babies beneath the surface. And second, don't harvest while all the foliage is still green. The green foliage means the plant is still absorbing energy from the sun and putting it down towards the potatoes beneath the surface. Wait until the plant begins begins to yellow and brown or until it's completely died off. And then start at least one foot away from the stem and gently work a shovel or your hands into the soil to not pierce any of the potatoes and begin sifting through it. Your patience will be rewarded with beautiful golden nuggets to be enjoying all summer long. Farmer Dean here and I wanted to show you how I plant my potatoes in a raised bed. If you look, 
I don't put twigs or any kind of garbage in there to fill it up. What I do is I put down my cardboard and then I put in rotted hay. So that's what's in here. And then I make my material. You'll notice I kept it a long way from the top because when you plant, I'm gonna build the dirt up as they grow. Normally when I do potatoes in the ground, I'm doing 36 inches apart and 12 inches. But what I'm gonna do here is a little different. I'm gonna lay them out like this and then I'm gonna stagger them. So my potatoes are gonna look like that. So I got my potatoes all laid out. So I'm just gonna go down there about three inches and cover them up. That's it. So now what I'll do after they start coming up, I'll keep filling the dirt all the way to the top. And so that lets them have roots and uh, also grow potatoes all the way up the stem. So that's the first planting. When I, my peas are in the ground, my potatoes are here and I'm gonna have new peas and potatoes at the same time. You wanna learn how to grow sweeter and bigger tomatoes, pest free, then download my seven hacks on how to grow sweeter and bigger tomatoes in the bio. Farmer Dean here. I found these really old potatoes in my pantry that I bought from the store like months ago and they've all started to sprout. I don't wanna waste them, so I'm gonna go plant them in my garden. These are honey gold potatoes that I just bought from my grocery store. And as you can see, they have all started to sprout. I'm gonna be planting them in these two 15 gallon grow bags here that I have in the greenhouse. First, I'm just prepping the soil by adding some fertilizer because I have used these grow bags before, so they're probably depleted of nutrients. I'm going to plant them pretty deep because potatoes need lots of room to grow, but I'm going to plant them with the eye, which is this thing right here, facing up. Usually if this was a bigger potato, I could cut them into individual eyes, but since this one is so small, I'm just going to plant it whole. Now that I've planted about four in each grow bag, I'm just gonna add some fresh compost on top. Just a nice layer to add some more nutrients. And then I'm just finishing off by adding some mulch. You can use any kind of mulch. I prefer wheat straw. This helps with water retention, especially since these are going to be living in the greenhouse. I need them to hold water really well. I'm gonna water them in again. And now they're done and we just wait for them to sprout and wait for more potatoes. I found these really 